guys welcome back to my sewing corner welcome to my channel if you are new here you are very much welcome thank you for stopping by and before leaving please don't forget to click that red subscribe button to join this amazing family today without wasting time i'm going to be showing us how to make this princess that curve for a full body as you can see this is where my blouse length ends and this is the top of my blouse so it's going to be a cutting and sewing video so if you're interested in watching this do not skip any part because i'm going to be sharing tips that can make you draft your princess that perfectly we don't have to having to worry about shortage on the handful so let's just go straight into the video so welcome once again guys as you can see i have my fabric here unfold so here i have my front bodies and here are my back bodies so this is the zip allowance and this is my center front okay drafting this is my starting line if you are familiar with my videos you know that i mark out half inch for my starting line so that i'll be able to use for my shoulder joint allowance from this half inch here so this place is my armhole divided by two so from this point again to this point is the bust point from here to here is the under bust from here to here is the half length or shoulder to waist so this is going to be my shoulder line because my shoulder measurement will fall on this point okay so from this place now to the end of my pattern fabric here is my what's blouse length and this is the allowance i have the measurement you will need for this project will be displayed on the screen now The first thing you're going to do is to draw your armhole line and your from that line you're going to draw your armhole curve and before you can do that you have to take your shoulder measurement on this shoulder line okay so the shoulder measurement i'm working with in this project is 6.5 plus half inch allowance so this is my seven inches so i'll come to the chest line as well and mark the seven inches so i can connect it up with my armhole line so from that armhole line i'll make my armhole curve okay i'm going to subtract one inch from that for the shoulder slope so you just find the midpoint which is 2.5 can you see that and i'll come in by half inch because this is the front bodies now i'll come to this my chest line here and i'll take my bust uh, circumference on that so that i can draft my armhole curve so basically what you need to draft your armhole curve you need your armhole line you need your bust measurement and your subtract your one inch slope so i'm working with 30 inches for the bust circumference here divided by four that's 7.5 okay so to draw your armhole curve like i said i'm going to connect this to this to this Sorry about this. This is a mistake. Sorry. So this is the armhole curve. This is our armhole curve now. We need to find the midpoint. You cannot take this as the midpoint because number one, a curve will generally increase your measurement. So we have to measure it back and we'll find the midpoint. So here I have about five and um, three quarter, and I'm going to fold what I have so that I can get the midpoint. You can start from here or the base. You can see just slightly different from the actual one, but that is it. It's not going to be the same thing, anyways. Now we've gotten our armhole curve and we found the midpoint because this midpoint that we need for our princess that curve okay so i'll take my bust pan measurements from my bust point to the end blouse length okay so and the bust pan i'm working with that is the nipple to nipple measurement i'm working with in this project is six inches you're going to divide that by two since your fabric is unfold so that's what's three inches and i'm going to add half inch to the measurement that means i'll have what's 3.5 so i'm going to measure that 3.5 straight to the base of my fabric so i connected the line so i'll come up by one inch i'll come down by half inch from the bust point come to the uh, waist half length and i'm going to take half inch on both sides it all depends on how you want your dart to be shaped you can decide to use three quarter you can even use one inch and i'm going to connect this to this point and this this one and same thing to this half inch okay so here i have my waist that now i'm going to connect this one we got the center we got here to my bust point measurement okay please take note when you're curving your princess that exactly after your bust point your curve starts You come to this point to give it a dart just to avoid puffiness i'm just going to place one inch here and share the half inch okay so take note that this is not um, a bust here it's just a basic princess dart so please make your measurement narrow towards the bust point you don't want it to be pronounced like we said earlier so please also take note that when you are taking this second curve, don't make it straight. Make sure it is curved. This is very important. You can see the way I'm tilting my ruler. 
you can see so I'm going, my measurements will stop around here exactly so this is what I want for it my armhole curve and I said this is my armhole curve I've already taken one inch from it by the time I cut it okay this is what I'm going to have for this side this one here the dart inside is going out I hope you know then we have the side okay that is from here then we have the side so I've taken one inch I need to add that one inch back so that I will not have shortage and I also need to add half half inch that I wish to join it together you know by the time I cut it out I need to join this to this so that means I want to add what two inches so I'll come to this my dart leg and I'm going to give it back the two inches I took can you see so just increase it by two inches you curve it back so that I can join it towards the main one okay then you are going to recover your armhole okay so basically all you just need to do is to connect it to your bodies okay so that's it that's it for your new armhole let me record this one so that it doesn't look so okay here Okay, so this is what my new arm hole curve. You can see that we now have another arm hole. Now let's take our horizontal measurement. So my bust circumference, like I said, is 7.5. 30 divided by 4, 7.5. I took my bust pan. I measured 3.5 here. So that means I already have 3.5 inch allowance for this side. But this side does not have. So I'm going to add half inch to my measurement. Okay. Then the seam allowance two inches okay waist measurement here is 28 that is seven i took out one inch here plus half inch for this side this side already has its own seam allowance so that's what half just half inch then plus two inches seam allowance okay you're going to measure where your blouse length ends you're going to measure the circumference of that point so it's not the same thing as your hip circumference except your blouse length gets to your hips that is when you can take your hips circumference that is your skirt hips you know what i mean so for this project the one i'm working with is 32 inches divided by four that is eight inches so already this side has half inch for the joining we're going to cut this out so i'm just going to give half inch for this side and then my two inches sewing a seam allowance or ease allowance what's ease and sewing allowance the reason i placed my front on my back is to get those lines so i already got it so i'm going to remove it so i'm going to draft the back separately connect my measurements together Come here and just make this place a little bit cold okay let's go to the neck width so i'll just work with three inches for this bodies and also come down by three inches as well then i'll connect my shoulder slope to my neckline okay then my shoulder join in okay which is the reason I gave my half inch allowance. Right now, we can go ahead and cut. So what I need to do is to just fold in my allowance here. So let me start cutting from the dart.
I hope we can all see it. Those are princess that's for the front bodies. So now let's go to the back bodies without wasting time. Okay, so guys, now I'm just going to extend the lines. Okay, marked from the front bodies. We'll take our shoulder measurement. So, you know, I took seven inches, allowance included. Okay. Same thing I'll do on the chest line. So you connect it, come down by one inch shoulder slope. Okay, then find the midpoint. For the back bodies, you don't have to come in by anything. There's no need for all over the back bodies. All I'll just do is take my bust circumference here and connect the point. So my bust circumference is seven and a half. So this is going to be my armhole curve. Okay, this is just what I'll have. Take my boss pan on the chest line now. This is, this is the back body. I'm going to start from the chest line to my blouse line. So three and a half as well. Let me take my waist that like we did for the front. Take your half. half. Whatever you use for the front is what you use for the back. So I'll come up by one inch. So let's connect it. Then I'm going to connect this. So now we'll take our dart on both sides. To reduce the puffiness. Okay. So whatever we've taken like we did for the front, we're going to return it back. So we've taken one inch already then, half half inch to join in, that is what, two inches. So I'll raise my dot, then connect it to the main one. And also redraw my arm O curve. Another way you can recover your armhole is to take the same allowance you took here, take it here again, okay? So, you know, we took two inches. You can see I have the same two inches back here. This is my, this was my initial armhole. So just return it. That's the way you can verify that, okay? So let's take our horizontal measurement. My bust measurement is 7.5. So here I have about half inch allowance gone. Then half inch for this side. This one already has its own swing allowance. Then half inch. So that's one inch. I'm going to add one inch. Then my two inches is allowance. Okay. Then for the half length, my half length is seven. Then we took one inch here plus half inch for this side. That is 1.5 plus my two inches. Hope we can all say that. Then to my blouse length, eight inches, half inch for this side, and then my two inches is and sewing allowance. So let me just connect it for us all to see. Now, there's one thing with drafting a full body for the back with a zip bulge thing because the back is not straight. Well, you notice that the back is really tilted in, it's not just straight. So, you come to the half to the waist, that is where that shaping starts from. And following your measurements for this one, we're just going to come in by half inch here. Now, this half inch, I will take it also from my zip allowance. Okay, I'll connect this to this one and this one back to wherever my neckline will get to. For my neckline, I will just the same thing neck width you use for the front, you use for the back. And I'll use one inch. Okay, 
So I'm going to take this half back to the neckline. So now I'll do the same thing for the sides so that I can still have my two inches zipper allowed. This is going to be my new zip. I'm sorry it's already getting rough. This is going to be my new what zip allowance, not this one. Okay, so you can just oh, this is where my zip will sit. Okay, this is where my zip will sit. So we're cutting this one out. I'm not making my line guess at this point because I'm still going to by the time I want to cut, I'm going to fold in my allowance. Okay. Now this half inch you have here will be short here, so you have to return this half inch back here, okay? This is where your zip will sit. So guys, this is what our back princess that but this is looking like. Okay guys, so now the next thing we want to do is to sew, okay? This is the sewing part. I place this side that matches with this one on it like so. And I'm going to go and place 0.5 inch stitch round up to this point, okay? And I'll do the same thing for the other side. The same thing I'll do for the back piece. So one tip for sewing princess that's the curved part. Just follow your half inch allowance. That way you will not have any trouble with the curved part of a princess that. Trust me. So guys, as you can see, I've gone ahead and I've stitched the front and the back together. And this is what it looks like. This is the, um, the wrong side of it, as you can see. So what I did was just lay it flat and then press it so this is the back bodies as well the back piece this one side and this is the other side as well okay so that's it for a princess that tutorial if you enjoyed this video please make sure you click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed please click that red subscribe button and share with your friends so that's it guys i'll see you in the next one bye and take care